What is going on, you guys? Welcome back, or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming Clash Royale, and yes, create your own legendary. Now, before you say it, yes, I realize a lot of you may have already heard about the website, www.clashroyalecardmaker.com. It's a fantastic engine that allows you to create your own cards, okay? So yes, maybe you already know about that, but the twist, the twist is I would like to encourage your ingenuity, your creativity to uh, get back to me with your ideas and I can do a couple of things. I am going to be giving away gift cards on Twitter for the best ideas that get tweeted to me at Galadon Gaming, but also I am definitely doing a new card concept video in the near future and I would love to include your ideas and in fact I will take it a step further, a guaranteed step further than you've heard in any other video and that is not only am I offering gift cards, shout outs, mentions and videos, but the very best of the best of these ideas will get sent along to the Clash Royale team at Supercell. As you guys know, I end up in Helsinki pretty often. I would say I've been there about five times this year and I've got at least one more trip planned before the end of the year. So let me know. You never know, your idea could end up actually being a card in the actual game. Again, do me a favor, Post it on Twitter. Let me know what your concepts are. Think this thing through because I don't have time to, you know, change up your idea. So I've got to be able to use your idea directly in a video, that image from the website. Again, that website is also down in the description. You guys can check that out and get back to me. Lots of gift cards being given away on Twitter. Also, I am still doing the uh, let me see your chest. No, Galdon wants to touch. No, Gal... You know the one. It's it's in the video. It was a few days ago. I can't remember the hashtag now. Galadon wants to open your chest. That's it. It's the least dirty of all the possible hashtags. Uh, so let me know on that one. I still have more gift cards to give away every single day for that one. Video series is starting up all the time. Series is, is that even a, a word? Anyway, I'm confused. So let me know, you guys. I always want to hear your feedback uh, regarding new series ideas, new card ideas, and anything else that I can possibly do lots of streams coming up and we will be doing the chest opening giveaways in those mob crush streams as well now make sure you tune in to the end of this video where I will include the always critical hashtag that you need to throw up on Twitter in order to have a chance to be included in the Twitter gift card giveaway okay if you don't use that hashtag for your card concept then I likely won't see it because I simply just get too many mentions these days ever since I did the uh, Galadon Open My Chest hashtag. It's just been absolutely crazy. I cannot possibly follow my timeline or my mentions anymore. So again, at the end of this video, I will throw up the hashtag that you need for the Create a Legendary Card Contest. All right, so right now we're watching some action from my full attack clan members and B Rabbit, we've seen him before, going into overtime here with this deck and it looks like it doesn't look great. Now he is obviously behind right here until the Prince gets there and despite all the attempts to stop the Prince, he has pretty much taken the lead. This is very close, only 40 seconds left. This is a regular trophy battle, so not a lot of overtime. The Fireball Great Value gets both legendaries down. Here comes another Prince. The Goblin Barrel Distraction, and then finally the Log to push that Prince back. Just barely is going to save that tower. The Prince gets a shot in anyway. Nine hit points left. Final 20 seconds, and now he's got to stop this big push. Here comes the Miner. The Skeleton Army on that tower doesn't look good on the defense, but of course he just has to rotate around to the arrows. There they are, and B-Rabbit grabs with 11 seconds left the one crown win. So let's go ahead and move on to another replay. This one from Smurf Master of Full Attack. And while we watch the beginning of this replay, I just wanted to remind you guys for this new card idea, let's try to come up with something a little more ingenious than say the uh, double hog rider or the triple princess. Now I know I did come up with those myself and uh, that was more because of the gameplay. The fact that the gameplay was supporting it. You could actually see those units in the game multiple of the same one. But I would rather see something that is completely unique. Something that we haven't seen in Clash Royale or Clash of Clans. Not multiples of a card and ideally some sort of physical function that's completely unique to the card itself. And what I'm talking about is Personally, my favorite cards in the game, probably the Miner and the Goblin Barrel, 
because they're just so very different. And I would love to see those ideas because I bet you that we are going to see stuff like that, more like the Sparky as well, the Tombstone. You've just got such a wide variety of cards, the Inferno Dragon even, stuff like that. Let's come up with something that's new and different and that nobody else has ever thought of. And you never know, it could happen. You might end up having your idea adopted by the Clash Royale team. All right, so Smurf Master using a deck that I'm not that handy at, and you'll notice he's facing a Royal Giant here and a much higher player, level 10 Smurf Master facing a level 12 with the Royal Giant. And by the time that Inferno Dragon gets there, yes, the Royal Gi Royal Dragon, the Royal Giant Dragon, the Giant Royal Dragon, the tower's down. So now the Lava Hound has gotten to the uh, opposing tower and the Inferno Dragon is still up for a little bit longer. Gonna go ahead and take care of the cannon and move after the tower and check out the timing. Right there, the Miner is there, the Lava Hound, Pups are there, and the Inferno Dragon is on that tower. And somehow, the opponent lets it happen and just all of those hit points just grinding off that tower. Now he doesn't quite get it down, but he does get a well played from his opponent, Silvermine 311. As he's gotten close to getting the tower down, he's got about 45 seconds and needs to grind that last thousand hit points off to force this one into overtime. Now you will notice that the Lava Hound is getting there once again. That cannon is going to get out of the way and the Miner is back there trying to get the timing so that the Miner comes in and the Lava Pups show up. Doesn't work out this time. The Hound and the Pups are going to get to the tower but now you've got a princess, you've got the barbs in the way, the barbs are going to distract the Inferno Dragon and that Mega Minion. And check it out, 291 left on the tower with the Zap spell, getting the princess out of the way. So that does mean that he can tie it up with that lightning spell. It's a costly lightning right here, but he's got to do it. He has four seconds left. He hits it with a lightning spell. He's taken the tower down. And check out the barbs. The defensive barbs got deployed on the other side of the battlefield because his opponent was expecting the miner. Instead, the miner went left. So that worked out okay. And he started to grind down that left tower. Couple of Inferno Dragons still up. Mega Minion, Tombstone, you've got units all over the place. The miner gets in there and gets after the princess that was right in front of the King's Tower. The Mega Minion is going to take out those cannons. Middle deployment on the Lava Hound, but he's got to worry about the Royal Giant also. The Tombstone is down, there are the Skeletons, and of course the Inferno Dragon is going to get the job done, but can it get the job done in time? Yes, just barely, but it doesn't look good. Wait, how does Smurf Master win this? His tower is down to under 100 hit points, he's on the opponent's tower, and suddenly so much damage pouring down from the Inferno Dragon that he grabs the 2-1 win when all hope looked lost over a player two levels above him. All right, so one more replay today. This one from Mastiff, and I love to call this the Massive Mastiff Comeback. Mastiff, always good for some unusual and clutch replays. So let's get into this one. As you can see, he's facing another dirty royal giant, and he's got the, well, somewhat dirty golem. Really seems like the golem tombstone ever since the King's Cup has become a big part of the meta. I would say that right now we're seeing three primary decks, okay, four primary decks. We're seeing all sorts of Golem Tombstone. We're seeing a lot of extremely spell-heavy decks where players are bringing three or four spell cards. We're seeing the Royal Giant, and then of course, we're still seeing Giant Bowler. And okay, then there's the Lightning Spell too. Okay, so there is some diversity, which is good, right? Diversity is good, but you still get complaints from players that there's not enough diversity. So I call this at the King's Cup, but I would not be surprised, and go ahead and quote me on this, if we saw nerfs to the Mega Minion and the Lightning Spell, and maybe some sort of change to reduce the prevalence of this Golem Tombstone meta. I'm not sure exactly what it will be, but it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a change there. For the Royal Giant, I feel like he's still pretty balanced. Extremely annoying, but still pretty balanced. I don't know if we'll see a nerf to him, uh, but I would definitely think we will see a change to the Mega Minion. So Mastiff has about 90 seconds left, and as you can see, it does not look good. He is down to just a couple of Zap spells, just maybe a strong breeze, and he's going to lose that left tower. And he's made almost no progress on taking either one of his opponent's towers down. They are so close that it doesn't really matter which side he pushes. He's going to lose the left tower. There's no way to prevent that. 
he has to realize that at this point, even just a pair of zap spells, and that thing is out of the way. So the only way for Mastiff to win is going to be by taking two or by taking three crowns. So the Golem goes in right on the river at the same time the Royal Giant comes down. So that tower is history. There it is. He's down 1-0. But check out this counter push. Golem, Dragon, Mega Minion, Archers. What else is in there? There's, there's the Kitchen Sink is there. Skeletons, everybody on that tower. That tower immediately goes down. And Mastiff ties it up with one giant push. And another Golem goes down. A second Golem joins this huge counter push. And the Royal Giant at the bottom of your screen working on that other tower. Technically, I don't even think he needed right here to counter that Royal Giant because check it out. The tower goes down. Three crown win for Mastiff from 0-1 to 3-1 in just a matter of seconds. So there it is, you guys. Let me know. Hit me up with those ideas. Hope you get a chance to get in a future video or get a gift card or at least get a cool shout out. Please hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like the video. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Shout out, Airball, I'm so excited, can't you hear from my voice, not